I greet the church. Amen. I greet the church with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Also, the ones who are watching us through the net, the media, Zoom, YouTube, we greet everyone with the peace of the Lord. We invite the church to stand up. We're going to read the Word of God. Capítulo 19. Nós vamos ler alguns versos a partir do Acts 19, verse 11. Eleven. The children are also looking for it. Amen. Let's read. Now God worked unusual miracles by the hands of Paul, so that even had kerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick and the diseases left them and the evil spirits went out of them then some of the itinerary itinerant jewish exorcists took it upon themselves to call the name of the lord jesus over those who had evil spirits saying we ex exorcise you by the Jesus whom Paul preaches. Now verse 15. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? Until then, my brethren, Lord, we adore you for your word. We ask Lord, apply to our hearts tonight. Give us a blessing. We pray to you in the name of Jesus. Church may be seated. My brethren, we read a text, a small part of the Bible, that spoke a little bit of, about the primitive church. The church in which our brethren lived, Peter, Paul, John. And it is very interesting that when we are reading the book of Acts, and I can confess to the brethren that this week I had the opportunity to read a lot the book of Acts. And uh, our heart burns. A joy comes to our hearts, great joy, when we see what the Lord has had operated by the hands of those brethren. And we can even say that we can just let ourselves travel, we transport ourselves ourselves to that time and even might think what a wonderful thing that happened how the Lord operated I want to tell the brethren the following those brethren they had a great intimacy with the Lord they had an identity with the Lord an identity that the Lord knew. And this text that we just read speak about a few men that saw, saw the church. They observed. And the word says that they 
found uh, the Lord operating something that was amazing. But they did not understand that those were not simple words. Oh, you just need to say this or that and the sick will be healed. And the evil spirit will be cast out, running away from you. But this is not what the Word teaches us. This is not the experience of the church. The Bible says that those men had a pretty bad experience because they did not know the Lord. And they used the name of the Lord. Because the word says the enemy, the enemy knows the power of the Lord. And it says, it says here, oh, I know Jesus and I also know who Paul is. I know who Paul is. But you, you, I don't know you. And tonight, the Lord gave us a spiritual sign to one of our brethren. I don't remember if it was uh, a brother or sister. Let me see here. But it was renewed tonight, a blessing upon this brother or sister. A person had a uh, an old, a withered passport, and the spiritual gift showed that the passport had withered, had gotten old, and this passport tonight was being renewed, and a stamp was po post uh, was placed on it. We are citizens of heaven. We are citizens of heaven, and a citizen of heaven is is recognized like Paul was. And the identity that Paul had in this spiritual world, we can say, was so indelible that even the word says that the people, they would get a handkerchief or something like that and they would bring it and put next to the sick and the person the sick that was far away that never had contact with the servant of the Lord that person was healed see my brethren see my brethren Lord gave us a wonderful signs and their identity was renewed and the passport was placed a stamp on it and it was returned it was a man it was a brother it was a brother that received this passport and he is here tonight and the Lord is giving a bless, blessing of renewal. The blessing that you asked, the Lord is confirming. You, who was not feeling like a citizen of heaven, without about Jesus, if Jesus came tonight, you would live with him in his dwellings? Yes, you will. And that's what the, the sign, the spiritual sign says. In my brain, the word it states to us that when we are in fellowship with the Lord, when we are doing God's will, the Lord honor us. The Lord give us victories and give us the assurance. Is there anything better than walking in the presence of the Lord with the assurance of victory? Is there? Tell me, brethren, is there anything better? Walking with the Lord? And we do not fear anything because the Lord is with us. The Lord is the one that sustains us. There were adversities. A while ago, I was I told you, the brethren that I was reading the book of Acts, the brethren then, they went through so many trials. They were not few. 
they were expelled from cities, they were imprisoned. They had to run away, hiding for the love of the name of the Lord. Because those names, those men, they did not measure their efforts to serve the Lord. Whenever they went to a city, they went to the temple to argue with the Jewish people there. You know, this passage in, in the Torah is speaking about Jesus. And many Jewish people, they would check the, their Torah with them. And many were convinced that they were converted. There are a couple of interesting texts in the Bible that said not, there were not few who followed them. And others, it was like if they had not heard anything. They heard the truth, like the war teaches. It was like if they had not heard anything or nothing had happened. And many times they even persecuted the brethren. And we also go through this. We as a church, many times we feel feel like we feel discouraged. But the Lord has renewed us. He has given us strength. He has confirmed the blessing upon our families to the ones we love, that we are praying for, so that they as well come into the presence of the Lord, so that they might enjoy of the same fellowship that we have enjoyed today. And the Lord also gave another spiritual gift. And this spiritual gift is regarding a woman a sister. And this spiritual sign says that she was building a barrier around herself with bricks, all this. And, but it was something that was very irregular. And uh, in, in a way that it would go beyond her height so if anybody looked surely would not be able to see her and, but she would also not be able to see anyone out of that that barrier but tonight the Lord is giving a victory to this sister it was presented to her a rock um, a mountain, a rocky mountain, where she would be protected. And this teaches that we are unable to protect ourselves. But the Lord has been our rock, the one whom we can go and hide in, hide under. My brethren, we made a visit yesterday to one of our brethren, and we greatly call my attention a word that the brother, brethren said, and this is very true. We do everything that is uh, at our reach, everything. When we are unable to do, the Lord is going to do for us. The Lord Jesus is going to do for us. Not that we did not try, but we know that we are incapable of uh, performing certain things. That's when we go to this, the gap on this rock and we hide there. Lord, I don't have the means. And the Lord takes care of the situation for us and give us the solution. Paul Many times he went through situations like this. We are speaking a little bit about Paul. Because we read here the deeds that the God had done through the hands of Paul. But Paul, he had his own limitation. He did what God ordered him to do. But when he was cast into a prison, 
he was whipped. He was not able to do much. You know what he did? He resorted to the Lord. There was an occasion in which he was in a prison with a disciple also called Silas. And we are here shackled, imprisoned. There's nothing for us to do here. We are going to glorify the Lord. But he also, he did not complain about the situation in which he was. The Lord asked him to preach and he went there and preached about the Word of God. Many times it happens to us. The Lord says, go and do this. Speak to that brother or sister. Speak with your neighbor. Acting this way. And we need to be paying attention to hear the voice of the Spirit. Even if we think that the result may not be the best. Many times the result is not the best. He was went to prison. But the word says that he they sang songs of the Lord. They would sing songs. And the result was that the Lord went there and and delivered and sent his angel. The word says that the the prison shook, shook and all the shackles they were broken because they heard the voice of God. And tonight, my brother, my brother and sister, we're going to hear the voice of the Lord as well. We're going to learn to pay attention to what the Lord has told us, what the Lord has taught us. We're going to seek the Lord even more so that we can be closer to the Lord, so that when the moment of adversity arri arrives, we would be prepared so that the Lord may give us victory. In the same way that God gave to Paul. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to hear now a song of praise.
o sinal dessa serva, ela se encerra o seguinte, ele se encerra dizendo assim, que ela apresentando uma rocha, era apresentado a ela uma rocha, a qual ela estaria protegida. Mas não só a proteção, ela tinha agora a visão de todo o local ali. Né? A igreja fiel do Senhor, ela está protegida do Senhor, mas ela enxerga o perigo à frente. Ela está preparada. Que ela busca o Senhor. Seeks the Lord. Ela busca o batismo com o Espírito. Seeks the baptism with the Holy Spirit. It's constantly seeking the Lord. And the word says, there's another spiritual sign that says that the other man who is here tonight, he's seeking and has received a renewal from the Lord. The church has done this, has, seek, has sought the Lord incessantly. And the praise says that we belong to you, Lord. We are your servants that you have cared for with love. You have been our rock. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Let's sing this song a little longer. Glory to Jesus. We have an identity. We are known. When you pass by, somebody will say, there goes a servant of the Lord. Look, that one is a daughter or a son of the God Most High. I know these people. I know these people. A few has had experiences with the Lord. And they might even say, Oh, can you pray for me? I've had experiences like this. I heard experiences about this. Maybe a neighbor, they ask you, Can you pray for me? Because they know that you are victorious in the Lord. Let us stand up at this moment. Glorify the name of the Lord. to Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God.
There's no one like our God. It's good to glorify our God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Holy is our name, Lord. Glory to God. Thus says our God, beloved church, my flock, I brought you tonight for a banquet, prepared a table for you. You satisfied your soul, and now you can leave and say that only God, our God is, our Lord is God. From the beginning of the service, our angels were operating. They ministered deliverance. They ministered for my for my mercy and healings. They ministered because of my love, salvation, and people that made a, a definition in my presence. A few came with uh, bowed head and sad and anguished, but their garments have been replaced by garments of praise, and they will leave this place in jubilation. My presence, my children, I visited your heart throughout the serve the praises and the prayers. I spoke to each one of you with love and kindness that come from above. Throughout the message, I opened up the mind and the understanding of Benny. And we can say tonight that you receive this, the strength that come from heaven, the understanding of my kingdom that goes way beyond an institution of a building, but a project that came from eternity that will take you back into eternity. My children, get prepared. Pay attention. Because very soon, you will be with me in the glory. Your cry, Maranatha, will be fulfilled. And you will live forever with me in the glory. I fill your lamps tonight with oil, and I feed you. I satisfy you with my love, and pour out upon you my anointing, my grace, and to many homes here represented, they have been greatly blessed so that you can serve the Lord with all your heart, of all your joy. Rejoice, my children. Praise my name. Because once again, I made myself presence in your midst. Lord, we praise your name. We thank you, Lord, for this feast, Lord. We praise you, Lord, because you spoke to us. Because we heard, because we heard your voice that is clear in our hearts. Take by our hands our adoration, our service. Send us home in peace. We pray to you in the name of Jesus. The church may be seated. I want to thank the brethren with the peace of the Lord Jesus and the ones who are connected with us with the peace of the Lord Jesus and to say that to you who are connected, who is connected with us, who are, that a few brethren are present, they can give you assistance. If you, by any chance, you need a prayer or an instruction, the brethren can help you there. And to the brethren who are present here, if you need a prayer, The ushers are here in the front here to help you. We have service tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning, Sunday school. We'll be here learning from the Lord. 
and it's so good. And we're going to have also our service 7.30 of the night. Are we going to have any Ten thirty, you're going to be able to participate on this study. So the whole church is conclaimed to be here at five five thirty of the afternoon. Also, we're going to, so that we're going to learn so that we can be better citizens of heaven. We're already good citizens of the Lord, but we want to be better, right? Peace of the Lord.